we're now going to talk about how we graph a piecewise function. And so the first thing that happens is we have to be given our function. f of x equals the set minus 3x for when x is less than or equal to minus 1 and 2x when x is greater than minus 1. So the first thing we do is we grab our graph and we're going to break this up. Notice that this region, go, we have one region that goes from minus infinity to minus 1 inclusive and the other one goes from minus 1 to infinity. This means we're going to have a point everywhere. And that our separation line is right here. So I'm going to draw a line down right here to say, hey, everything to this side is 1, everything to that side is 1. So this is my minus 3x side, and this is my 2x side. Well, now all we need to do is graph each of these separately. So I'm going to graph this one in green and this one in purple. And if I were to normally graph minus 3x, it would start at 0 and it would go down 3 over 1 because it's got a slope of minus 3. But we don't get any points over here. There's no green points over here. So instead, we're going to go up 3 and back 1. Notice we get a point right there. And this one's included because minus 1 is included with the minus 3x. Then we keep going. And so we get this line right here that stops at the blue line. Now the 2x, which I'm going to do in purple, he does have an intercept at 0, and he's an up 2 over 2, up 2, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. He's also a down 2 over 1, but here it's an open circle. He's not a part of this line. And so we can just draw the line through all of our points like so, and we now have a graph of this particular piecewise function. To so do everything in pieces and then graph what you know based on the realm that it belongs in. And I like to label it up here at the top just to make it easy to find the minus 3x and the 2x so I know that I'm doing it correctly. Well, let's look at another example. Let's gr drag our graphing field back on and let's look at g of x being the piecewise function of the absolute value of x if x well, sorry, if negative 2 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 1, and it's the square root of x if x is bigger than, greater than, or equal to 1. So now we've got a couple of breakpoints. We've got a minus 2, and we've got a 1. So this blue line breaks these up. This is our absolute value of x region. This is our square root of x region, and this region is blank. Don't put any points over here, because there's nothing to the left of negative 2. Well, our absolute value line starts at 0, 0, and it goes up and ends there, and it goes up 1, up 1, and that point's filled in. Because if we plug in a negative 2, we get 2. Plug in a negative 1, we get 1. Plug in a 0, we get 0. And if we plug in a 1, we get 1. So the green line is our absolute value of x from negative 2 to 1. Our purple line starts at 1, and the square root of 1 is 1. And then our next point would be 4, 2, because the square root of 4 is 2. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3. And notice it's filled in, and then it just keeps going out that way. So our square root of x, we just take the piece of it that appears right where it needs to be. Our absolute value of x, we just take what we need, and we leave everything over here blank, because there's no rule for less than minus 2. Let's look at one final example just to help show you what happens if we have more than two rules. So h of x, oops, h of x will be equal to minus 2x plus 1 for x is less than minus 1. 2x plus 1, x is less than or equal to. Minus 1 is less than x is less than 2. And it's equal to x plus 2 if x is greater than or equal to 2. So again, we come through and we mark our boundaries. We have one at minus 1, and we have one at 2. And these are all linear, making it real easy to graph. We have a minus 2x plus 1, we have 2x plus 1, and we have x plus 2.
to split those regions up. Well, if we plug in a minus 1, minus 1 times minus 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So we'll do this line in blue, and we get a point at 3. And he's filled in because he's on the border. And then his slope is a negative 2, so going backwards is back 1, up 2, back 1, up 2, up, back 1, up 2. And we get this line right here that stops. We'll do this one in green. He starts at 1, and he goes down 2 over 1 for an open circle, up 2, and then open circle on the boundary. So he's this straight line right here, which are both open on the boundaries. And then x plus 2, if we plug 2 in, 2 plus 2 is 4, so he starts at 4 filled in, and he goes up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, all the way off to the side. And now we've graphed our piecewise function with three pieces. So figure out what your regions are, figure out which rule applies to which region, and then graph just that part of it inside that region that you can see.